Vigor's journey through Germany continues, and this time he's heading to Lübeck. The historic old town of the northern German city is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and attracts more than a million visitors every year. Today, Vigor is visiting the city's famous Holsten Gate. It was constructed between 1464 and 1478 when Lübeck was in its heyday as the leading city in the Hanseatic League, an economic alliance of trading cities. The gate reflected the city's power and wealth. The city gate is over 500 years old and its walls are up to 3 meter 50 thick. Yeah, one reason why it's still standing after so many years. But do the locals know what it's used for today? Oh, I think uh, maybe it's only empty. Probably a nightclub. Oh, there's a torture room. A torture chamber sounds exciting, but inside Vigor only finds a museum dedicated to Lübeck's illustrious history. Vigor prefers to learn by doing, so he's signed up as an apprentice to master restorer Helmut Jordan. Together they work to restore the city's emblematic eagle to its former glory. But then, Vigor does stumble upon some instruments of torture. So, did they torture here? I mean, for the chill-out factor, it would be a little bit difficult. No, they did not here. Did not torture here. These torture instruments were used near the city hall, and the Holsten Gate was nothing but a defense building. Ah. The thick walls take up a lot of space, so the stairs and corridors are all very narrow. Small windows make the gate more difficult to attack. The Holsten Gate is very unique, but isn't the museum inside a little bit disappointing? No, not at all. On one hand, we show the history of the Antarctic League, and on the other hand, the Holsten Gate is the showpiece itself. Ah. Hmm. Vigor is also allowed to step out onto the roof of the gate, a treat most tourists are denied. Besides being a famous landmark, why is it worth visiting the gate? The Holsten Gate has never been used for defense, but it's more a symbol for the wealth and power of Lübeck. Ah. The Holsten Gate is an important landmark in northern Germany. Because it has survived for over 500 years, it gets five stars for historical importance. And when it comes to fitness, it also gets five out of five because the steps are very, very steep. But as for being modern, well, I think in this case, I cannot give it a single star. The Holsten Gate provides fascinating insights into a bygone era. But time now for Vigo to move on to the next destination on his continuing journey through Germany. Land of loveliness.